Bashiba Beach, one of the most famous beaches in Barbados, is located on the east coast near Andromeda Botanic Garden and shows the Atlantic Ocean in its full glory. The area displays miles of untouched, windswept coastline along the island's most rugged stretch of coast. Welcome back to my channel. If it's your first time here, please click the subscribe and bell buttons to be notified when new videos are uploaded. And like, comment and also share the videos with your friends and family. Located on the rugged east coast line in the parish of St. Joseph Barbados is the main fishing village called Bashiba, which is a small community of fishing folk where the men roll out into the sea in tiny wooden fishing boats and surfers delight in riding the waves. It is said to be named after Bathsheba, the wife of King David who is thought to have bathed in milk to keep her skin soft and beautiful. Folklore states that the surf-covered white waters of Bathsheba, which are rich in minerals, is believed to resemble Bathsheba's bath in both appearance as well as in health giving value. For years, people have been flocking to Bashi before its healing qualities, bathing in the unique mineral-rich salt water pools carved out by the sea, wind and tides out of the coral rock. The Bashi Park area is the ideal place to stop for a picnic lunch under the shade of the trees where the trade winds will cool you off. If you didn't bring lunch, that's no problem since there are several small eateries and restaurants in Bathsheba that serve local dishes and snacks. Bathsheba provides a relaxing change to the bustle and congestion of the other parts of the island. So for many, especially Beijing's, a trip to Bathsheba is like a hideaway that is used to bounce back and recharge before heading back to the city life. Its distinctive landscape faces toward the roaring Atlantic Ocean, which crashes into the rugged coastline after 4,000 miles of surging seas. The waves rolling unobstructed across the Atlantic Ocean from Africa make it too rough and create undertows that make swimming extremely dangerous. Although the big surf, riptides, undertows and raging seas on this side of the Atlantic make it very unsafe to swim because of the strong undercurrents, there are a series of shallow, gentle coral pools carved out by the sea that are suitable for swimming and which have become popular spots for relaxing in the water, especially on a hot day. The shore along this stretch of beach is a bit rocky, combined with white sandy beaches that stretch along the coastline, revealing some unusual rock formations against which the Atlantic roll-up waves break into surges of white foam. These huge boulders dotting the water's edge, which at first glance seem as though they have washed up on the beach, are actually rock formations that have broken away from the ancient coral reef over time leaving these rugged structures as standalone rocks, sculpting the coral rocks so that they look like boulders perched on pedestals. Along the coast are also restaurants, guest houses and local ram shops, which make a perfect hideaway for visitors and Beijing's who regularly spend the weekend in their seaside cottages by the shore. 
The East Coast of Barbados offers a completely different experience in contrast to the more modern West and bustling South Coasts, which are the main tourist hotspots on the island. Here you'll find endless stretches of beach, pounding surf and entrancing seascapes. In the general area of Bashiba are guest houses and churches that combine to form a part of the cultural landscape of this St. Joseph village. Here is an abandoned bathing house that was used for changing into swimming gear before going into the sea for a swim. This abandoned changing hut became popular at one point after it was used in filming several episodes of the American soap opera The Bold and Beautiful back in 1996 when Brooke Shields ran away from Ridge Forrester and ended up in Barbados with amnesia. One additional attraction for which Bashiba is famous and which has boosted Barbados as a sports destination is the art of surfing, which attracts competitors from all over the world.
Because of the big steady roller waves coming in off the Atlantic Ocean, Bathsheba Beach is home to the famous Soup Bowl, which is a great spot for experienced surfers because of the consistent waves and heavy barrels which usually take off between November and May. The waves on the coastline are the delight of those water dead devils and it has hosted many a Bathsheba Soup Bowl surfing competition. In fact, the local and international surfing competitions take place annually at the Soup Bowl inside this fierce forming white ocean. During the rest of the year, the waves are still reliable but a bit more manageable for the less experienced surfers. Bathsheba is also a very good starting point for a hiking vacation since you can enjoy challenging hilly hikes to the towering peaks overlooking the coast or even explore the old train lines that used to run along the coast. The Barbados Railway was started around 1873 up until 1937 and stretched from Bridgetown through Bathsheba.